a little bit of Avenged Sevenfold in that in that guitar. What up, guys? It's your boy Matt from RamseyVoice.com. I'm a real singing teacher, real vocal coach. Re- I'm, I'm, I'm a real. I'm a real boy. I am also known as Car Ramrod, and today you know that we're going to be looking at some new reaction videos. I cannot wait. Today I am going to react to one of my favorite new Chinese singers, Hua Chen Yu, who I am watching very carefully. I'm going to stop making that joke. That's a really stupid joke. I'm just going to, it's, it's a real person's name. <laughs> I'm being very insensitive and maybe racist. I hope not. But you know what time it is, guys. If you find this video helpful, make sure to smash that like button, comment with the next song that you wanna see me react to. I read them all, sometimes I cry a little bit, sometimes I leap for joy in reading your comments because I absolutely love them. Make sure that you subscribe, turn on notifications for this channel. If you wanna learn to sing, check out my complete singing course, Master Your Voice, shameless plug is over. You know what time it is. It's high note, low note time. The new segment on the show where I'm going to pick a random positive comment, read it aloud, and a negative random comment and read that aloud. If you want to see me react to your comment, make sure that you leave a comment. Let's see, Carl Sa... Carl Sedang left a comment on my Jeremy Jordan video, said this reactor is hella great. Carl, thank you so much. You're hella great. I used to live in the Bay Area too. People say hella there, so I'm gonna guess that's where he's from. And right before that, Alice Sun with two dollar signs in the name said 17 minutes? The song has just four minutes to my Akeem Kanalong video. Sorry, Allison, maybe you haven't seen a reaction video before, but I'm a real vocal coach. I got to stop all the time. You know, I teach a lot of one hour lessons and it's kind of like, what do you do with all that time? I mean, you must walk out of that one lesson being like, man, you can sing anything after that. Well, the truth of the matter is, I mean, a voice lesson is very segmented in that, like, it really takes your voice probably a good 20 to 30 minutes to fully warm up. I would say the last 10 minutes of that 30 minute segment is going to be challenging your voice to do something that you can't do before. Usually the second part of the lesson is working on one song. So if you think 17 minutes is a long time to work on one song, wait till you actually take a lesson. I know that sounds like a lot, but it's really not, especially when you're trying to help people work on parts of their voice that they haven't been able to work on before. And as far as reaction videos go, I'm sorry, that's just the way it goes, bro. You gotta stop every once in a while and talk about what's going on with the singer, or else it's not a reaction and it would not be fair use under copyright law. Okay, so today I am going to watch Hua Chen Yu's performance of Aliens. I don't know if he wrote this song. I know he's a Chinese singer-songwriter. I'm gonna guess that he did. I'm going to assume that he did and give him all the credit that he deserves. He's a fantastic singer. Let's see if this is actually a five-star performance, shall we? Oh, he did write it. Composer Hua Chen Yu. Uh, he has a lyricist, apparently. Cool. Man. All right, okay, so what an intro. We're 40 seconds in, the guy has sung from an F sharp four all the way up to an F sharp five. That's a lot of range in case you're counting, even though it's just an octave and people are like, well, I sing like five octaves. A single octave is a lot. It's a lot of voice expansion in a short period of time. And I just have to say like, what a weird place to start. Like it's very, very difficult to start from the right from that F sharp. That's right in the middle of a guy or a tenor's first bridge. Very difficult place to sing. And then he just keeps going up to the what up at the top there. Let's see what he does next. You got this wah. You're a rock star. Look at all the girls. Are there any- are there any guys at all? No, it's all women. <laughs> all right. Does anybody hear a 
little bit of Avenge Sevenfold in that in that guitar. It sounds very Avenge Sevenfold, like very like punk metal to me. That's really really cool. I I am really really liking Waz music so far. So the last one that I reacted to was like a piano ballad, but this is like more of like a metal, like a pop metal kind of sound. Let's see uh, how he sings through this first bridge. So angry, but I love him anyway. I could change him. Okay, let's pause there. Okay, so what we've got so far, I, I don't know who's mirroring his vocals, but there's somebody else or another recording of him that's actually going on at the same time that he's doing the and that makes it sound really full and really cool. It There's no like real technique to what he's doing there. It just sounds like more like kind of raspy and more like screamo-y because there's a second voice on there that makes it sound really aggressive, but he's basically just dun 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 He's adding a little bit of extrinsic vocal cords in there to make it sound like a little bit more aggressive and a little bit more metal. But yeah, it's really cool. Now let's see if he's gonna start singing soon. Now it's like we're Linkin Park. So the first notes that I heard, those were the first notes that I actually heard in that whole like segment where he's just kind of like yelling. And I bet we're gonna get into kind of like that, you know, like strong, like Linkin Park kind of style. Dance down the shade! Like kind of belted, like sustained kind of sound. Let's see what he does. It's, it's, it's all on very open vowels. Very, very little closed vowels here. Even if he is singing like on some closed vowels, he's actually widening them to open them up a little bit more because that makes it for more of a belty sound. So we got on. Yeah, so we've got the da, da, a couple of notes there, but again, it's a lot of yelling so far. There's a lot of technique going on here. Even though I'm saying like he's just yelling a lot, it's really a trick of like trying to preserve your voice so that you can make it through these aggressive parts, but still stay on pitch. Now I do hear a second voice synced with his to make it a little bit easier so that he can kind of like maybe not go quite as aggressive. It's a possibility that there's another singer on stage that's like kind of syncing with what he's doing. But if not, there's definitely like a second track under there or at least some post-production to make it sound bigger, which takes some of the pressure off of him. But he's still going up to that, up to that C sharp. Da, 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 da. So it's still very, very cool. I mean, that's very difficult to do. Again, a little bit of like there's the inner vocal folds, the intrinsic vocal folds, then there's also the extrinsic or the false vocal cords, fake vocal cords, whatever you want to call them, that he's actually using those guys to help contract against those notes the da -da 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 to make it sound more aggressive. Not a whole lot of like actual difficult, you know, 
proper vocal techniques that you can do to isolate that specific thing. It's a lot of just like imitation and it's a, definitely a big part of the style. That was super awesome. I was not expecting that at all, guys. That was a really, really cool performance. Now with this one in particular, I would say that the amount of production, the amount of like extra stuff that's added on there, he's got like a backing track or another singer that he's singing along with. It definitely sounds like a backing track to me. I get why they're doing it. This is like a really big performance. They want to make sure that it sounds really, really professional. I just want to hear a little bit more of his own voice in there even if it's a little bit messed up. And I think that these kinds of songs, especially as much as he's running around, as much as he's doing, it's really difficult to keep everything in tune when you're doing all that other stuff. So in this particular case, they wanted their cake and to eat it too. If you're familiar with that expression, it basically just means that they wanted both. They wanted the perfect pitch and they also wanted the excitement of being like a rock and roller on stage. And I don't think that that is totally realistic in this context. In this particular performance, it doesn't strike me as super real. So for that particular reason, I'm gonna give this performance a four out of five stars. Not the singer, the performance, a four out of five stars. Now, if you were just looking at it from an overall perspective of like, hey, what is this singer like? I've seen five star performances from this guy before and I have no doubt that he could do it again. But in this particular one, it just seems overproduced, not totally realistic, but it is really cool to see him like experiment with being edgier and higher energy and stuff like that. I just think that if you're gonna go for that, if you're gonna be punk rock, be punk rock. You know, just be okay with singing a little flat sometimes rather than making sure that everything sounds absolutely perfect so that you don't offend anyone. So those are just my two cents. Guys, if you found this video helpful, make sure that you hit like, subscribe, comment with the next song that you wanna see me react to. I read them all and I will see you guys next time.